Okay, welcome back. We are going to work on flounder. So I'm going to use any one of the chain three spaces from our the last of our seaweed with my royal blue color. I am going to do a beginning three double crochet cluster, which starts with a chain three. The beginning does yarn over, pull through, pull through two, yarn over, pull through, pull through two. That's the beginning three double crochet cluster. So we are just gonna pull through all three. We are going to do a chain three. Sorry, I almost did a chain two, chain three. And we are going to three double crochet cluster in this row. So we yarn over, go into the space through two, yarn over, through the space, and through two, yarn over, through the space. And now because this is our regular three double crochet cluster, I'm gonna bring this up a little closer to the camera. You can see there's three here, but there's four on here. When we did our beginning one, we have our three double crochets, but we only had three loops. So that's the major difference when you're working the three double crochet cluster from this point forward, just a regular one is gonna have four loops left on the hook. So we're gonna chain two. So this is being very grabby yarn today. We're gonna skip two single crochets. So skip, skip. We are going to do a three double crochet cluster in the next stitch. So yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. Go through two. We've made a three double crochet cluster, pull through four, okay? Now we are going to chain two, skip two, and do our three double crochet cluster. Yarn over, pull up, pull through two. Yarn over, pull up, pull through two. Three on there, pull through four, chain two, skip two and cluster. Pull through four, chain two, skip two, and cluster. Pull through four, chain two, skip two, and cluster. Pull through four. All right, now we're gonna do this all the way across to the other side. Before we round the corner, I'll come back and we'll do this corner together. Make sure we've got everything that we need in one on this side first before we move on to the others. Alrighty, so I have gotten to my end over here. And let's go back to the beginning and count across. We should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 clusters on each side, including your corner clusters. And you should have a chain two, skip two in between each of them. Just review and make sure that that's all you have. I know on this last one we chained two and we skipped the last one just because we had an odd number so it wasn't gonna break down evenly across. All right, so we are going to, and I took the time to go ahead and put my cluster in the corner to begin my corner because I wanted to count all of my um, clusters going across. So I will need to Go ahead and do one more cluster in that corner space to make my cluster corner. 
All right, and then we have our cluster corner. All right, so I am going to continue on chaining two, skipping two, and clustering into the next single crochet. Just keep doing this around all sides. Remember you're putting you're putting a three double crochet cluster, chain three, three double crochet cluster into the corner space. All right, and I will meet you back over on this beginning corner. All right, I've reached the end of my first double crochet, three double crochet cluster round and um, the first set of fins for a flounder. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut, and I've joined with the chain three from my beginning double crochet cluster at the beginning of the row. I'm gonna cut that off, and we will bring our yellow into this. So I'm just moving so that I can start in a fresh corner I'm going to grab my yellow and bring it into my corner like normal. Now we're going to do the exact same thing that we did here on the first corner where we had the beginning three double crochet cluster. So we're going to chain three, we're going to yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull through two. All right, we only have three on here, but because this is our beginning three double crochet cluster, that's okay. We're gonna pull through all three, do a one, two, three chain, and a three double crochet cluster into the corner. And pull through all four. We're gonna go back to chaining two. Now what we're doing is we're not skipping two. Sorry, that camera angle's bad. We're not skipping two, we're skipping the cluster. And we're gonna put a cluster inside each of our chain spaces. So. Row four, chain two, into the next chain space. Chain two, these are very simple rows. I almost started napping in the middle of the other one. All right, and then we're just gonna keep going across until we have the other corner, and we're gonna do our cluster, chain three, cluster in the corner. I'll be right back with you. Okay, I'm right up to the edge, or I should say the end of my first side with the yellow clusters. I'm just throwing the last one in. Now the corner is gonna be same as usual, cluster in the corner, chain three, and then you'll do a cluster and continue on down the side again, but just to give you an idea of what it looks like. I love these chubby little clusters. They're one of my favorite stitches. You'll find them in just about every single one of my afghans. But we're gonna do um, two more rows of this. We're gonna finish up this yellow one. I'll meet you over here. We're gonna put another blue and another yellow, so a total of four rows. Once I get you going on the next blue one, I'm gonna actually fast forward to the end, and I'll let you finish up the blue and the yellow second rows on your own. Um, I think you can do it. This is pretty simple, and they just keep repeating, and there's nothing funky or fancy that happens to the corners. You just continue to add the yarn on the exact same way that you did the row below. All right, so not to talk you to death, but I'm gonna continue on here. I'll meet you back up over here for finishing this round. Okay, I'm at the end of my yellow row and I have joined with the top of the beginning cluster. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. Like I said, I'm gonna 
get you joined up with the blue. And then I'm gonna set you loose and you can finish up the last two rows. You're gonna do one more blue and one more yellow, just like what we did before. So chain three, beginning cluster, pull through two, pull through two, pull through three. Chain three, and cluster. Chain two. Alrighty. Now, do one more blue round. This That would be the one that we're on. And one more yellow round. You should have a total of four rows for flounder. And I'm going to go ahead and meet you back here once I have my two rows on there. And then we'll finish that up. And then you're going to have to have your stone color one more time after we get done putting flounder in place. Okay, I'll meet you back here. Well, I don't know about you guys, but these last two rows took me more than a couple of minutes to put on. This blanket sure is growing in size quickly, so our blankets are going to take, or I should say our rows are going to take a little bit more time than they were in the beginning. All right, so I've completed the yellow. Thank goodness, that's the last of those rows that we're going to do. Now what we're going to finish this section of week three up with is I'm going to do another row of single crochets across the top of the yellow to finish off the color, kind of like we did with the green, where we it just helps block and get, makes everybody stick out on their own, basically. And I'm just gonna pull the gray from an undisclosed location. And we're going to chain one. We're gonna single, chain three, and single in the corner. Sorry, I just gotta get my fabric moved around so I can work it here. Okay, we're going to single into our cluster. Then we are going to put two single crochets in each chain two space across. So basically, each cluster is going to get one, each chain two space is going to get two. Okay, see how that helps to single off the yellow at the end of that row. We're going to do that all the way across. Each corner is going to be a single crochet, chain three, single crochet, and all right, since this is the last row, or I should say round of our week. I'm going to go ahead and let you finish this up. Put one single crochet into each of the bobbles, or not the bobbles, but the clusters, and then two into each chain two space. Okay, and I will meet you back on this original corner and we'll finish off the week together. Alrighty, so we have come to the end of week three for the Kiss the Girl portion of the blankets. And make sure that you've got 87 single crochets per side. All four sides have to have 87 single crochet. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cut off. And you can set your stone color aside. Take time to um, secure your ends, weave them in, get them out of your way.
and I will see you next week. Great job, guys.